So I'm back here right now, another episode of Haunt Talks. I'm here with my very special guest, my homie. He's been doing this shit, tattooing for 10 years. Josh Hernandez, how you doing, man? Good, good, how you doing, brother? Doing good, really glad to have you on the show. Thank really you, glad man. we got to do it in your little like, workstation right here Thank with you, in front of all your beautiful artwork. Thanks, man. So 10 years of doing this, so tell me about like the stepping stones of like when you first like realized, like, you know what, I wanna do this shit. Uh, well, I was in high school, you know, yeah. I, um, I used to start off just doing regular cursive writing and calligraphy writing and then mm -hmm. Um, from there, I had just a couple buddies who, who were, I guess, willing to let me tattoo them. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of just picked up from there. For a little while, I was, I was just tattooing at the house, but I knew uh, eventually I'd have to get into a shop, you mm -hmm. know. And um, the shop we're at today is the first shop I ever walked into. Really? Yep. And, and what's so, the name of this shop? You want to give it a shout uh, out, man? Long Beach Ink Assassins. There we go. Yeah, I walked up in here probably like around 2009, 2010. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been here ever since. Nice, man. Yeah. That's really good. That's really good. So I understand that, like you were mentioning earlier, about like your apprenticeship. Mm -hmm. How was that like, as as your own personal experience? It was um, it was pretty, it was tough, you know. As far as um, I, I had a basically, it's it was a it's a nine to five, or it was from twelve to nine, five days a week, uh, no pay, but in return I was taught how to tattoo properly, uh, knowing machines, equipment design and uh, knowing how to transfer uh, art on paper onto skin you know okay. so yeah nice. i think it's very important to have an apprenticeship uh, not saying that you can't it can't be done without one you know but um i i'm grateful that i was able to have one that's really good that's yeah. really good and like within the whole stepping stone you started developing your own style of um, type of artwork or are you saying or is this kind of like stuff that you've been doing for a long time like even before you were tattooing well, first and foremost, I think, like, I, I love tattooing, just everything about it, as okay. far as the art of tattooing, uh, tattoo designs, traditional, you know, tattoo designs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. That's what kind of got me into, I'd say, drawing, more or less, you know? Because at first, I, I'd say, I didn't really get into tattooing to, to draw, mm -hmm. you know, but it kind of got there, like, as far as, um, as when I started tattooing more, I kind of opened up to the... I guess art drawing world, you know. There we go. There we go. Yeah, awesome. So all your new pieces I'm seeing right now, it's a really good touch of like an old Chicano type of art style, but yep. with your own gothic twist to that. Right, right. Yeah. How did something like that become, come across in your mind? Well, I mean, uh, growing up, I've always seen, uh, I've always seen, I guess, Chicano based mm -hmm. art tattoos. You know, a lot of the tattoos that I see in growing up were on. Uh, I'd say people who came out of prison, yeah. or just you know, just tattoos off the street. You know, there was no one really tattoo shops um, that were tattooing minors and stuff like that. So That's everything I'd really seen was on the street. So it was basically Chicano stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to kind of throw um, more of a darker twist to the to the whole kind of Chicano start, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, that's where I kind of kind of based it off. I wanted to kind of give people what they want to see but with my little twist to it little vision you know okay yeah. definitely definitely is there anything like new pieces that you're working on today that you would want to share or anything like that or any like ideas that you have out there um, that you are working on right now yeah yeah I'm, I'm constantly working on things i mean mm -hmm. i can't even tell you exactly what i can show you because i have i have multiple things going yeah, on yeah okay. uh, this one i just finished up okay. um this is a one of my personal favorites that i've done um these i've tattooed both of these designs already nice and uh yeah i, I kind of want to go towards more of the dark imagery mm -hmm. uh custom just 
just your original stuff, you know? Definitely, definitely. So, so you, we understand that this is like your kind of other like style of tattoo that you enjoy doing. Is there yeah. any other ones that you enjoy doing so far that like? Um, I like doing, um, I'd say, Honestly, when it comes down to tattooing, I, I like doing it all. I like doing, you know, uh, fine line tattooing. I like doing bold line tattooing. I like doing soft gray shading. I like packing black. I like doing a little bit of color here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, I like doing script, writing, and stuff like that. When it comes down to, the, 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 to tattooing, or just the art in general, I, I like to do or be uh, versatile, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Just kind of dabble into every kind of medium, styles, and et cetera, you know, I like, I like to do it all. That's good, man, mm -hmm. that's really good. All right, so this is like one thing that I'm pretty sure a lot of people are wondering as they're watching this, what's is up, what's like, up? what's like the randomest thing you've had to tattoo on someone? Or like the <laughs> randomest place? You don't gotta give any names or anything like that. But. Um, when I was at, uh, I, I went to Arizona one time mm -hmm. with my buddy Paul, passed away already. Um, and some, <laughs> some chick uh, asked me, she wanted to get Mexican radio tattooed. Mexican radio? Yeah, so she uh, she wanted to get it across her nipples, like going over her, <laughs> or, yeah, that was kind yeah. of one of the strangest, weirdest tattoos I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> that shit must hurt though, like right on the nip. Like, how did she? Did she take it like a champ or something shit like that? Yeah, she, yeah. I like, mean, hey. she she was she was pretty drunk, you know. Oh, and her, I guess her boyfriend called it, you know. That's that's oh, right. Yeah. Eggs, yeah. yeah. So, so um, her boyfriend was right there, kind of just like barbecuing over me, and, <laughs> and so it was it was pretty weird, but um, it was fun. <laughs> that's cool. Dude, that's, that's really crazy. Nah, I'm pretty sure like you you probably got like other people that you're just like, no, I'm not gonna tattoo you there. Like, fuck that. Like, Nowadays, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. Then, I, I didn't care. I would okay, do it all. <laughs> I feel, I feel, yeah, Definitely. Is there any, like, have you ever, like, I've heard of, like, tattoo artists doing this. Have you ever tattooed yourself? Me? Yeah. yeah. I, I've got a couple ones that I've tattooed. Nice. Um, How did that go? Uh, they, they're pretty shitty, you know. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, you have to kind of know inside and out of mm -hmm. your craft, you know. So you got you got to know what you're doing to people, how it feels, and you know inside and out. Yeah, that shit hurts, man. Like, yeah, it does. Just, <laughs> that shit hurts. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy though. People do this and like going into back to school and everything like that. I'm realizing that this is like this form of pain mm -hmm. can be considered as a ritual type of shit, spiritual and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. What's 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 kind of crazy about it is that um, getting tattooed can can. Uh, you can find some kind of um, like a, it's like a coping kind of thing. Like mm -hmm. you know, you can be going through a really hard, challenging time in your life, and for some reason, if you get this certain tattoo, it um, it'll help you for some reason. It gives you strength. Yeah. It uh, it can it can motivate you. It's a reminder. Mm -hmm. um, it can it's 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 powerful. Absolutely. Now, there's something um, there's something within somebody getting tattooed or you know human wanting to get tattooed that no one no one can I mean, like explain why you'd want to get one but you just you just have to have it i feel you know? i feel that's cool have you ever been a part of that been able to like be honored to tattoo someone during that oh sort yeah of spiritual all moment? the time all the time all especially the time. when it comes down to like memorials mm -hmm. you know when you you know everyone's kind of you know have lost a loved one or a family member yeah. and stuff and um and uh, when when I get to tattoo something like that, I really do feel honored and and to give them a little bit of um, you know um, what's that word? Uh, kind of like a euphoria phase. Something like you know that? to yeah. kind of you know to to get them through that hard time. You know? Okay, yeah. yeah, that's really good right there. Yes, sir. There we go. So, um, any like uh, events coming up or like any like um, like special deals going on at the tattoo um, shop? That you we have watch? we have an art show coming up next month on the what? What is this winter? Third. On November third, um, it'll probably be starting later on in the afternoon, like around eight or nine. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely suggest that you guys should come out and check it definitely, out. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever done an art show before? Like I've done many art shows. Yeah, nice. uh, I didn't. I done a couple of them when I was uh, going to Long Beach City College, and um, my buddy Irwin and Anthony they invited me to a couple that I got nice. to do. They were pretty cool. That's cool. How, how was that a type of experience? Pretty fun? It was pretty cool. It was the first time I got drunk off of wine and I got oh, pretty yeah. shit-faced. It's yeah. <laughs> always a good story. It's college. Yeah. You're allowed to do that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Damn, damn. What are you going to, to LBCC for? 
Um, you know what? Honestly, I just took art classes. Okay. Yeah, I was I was granted um, some financial aid, mm -hmm. and um, I didn't really want to do like the whole like the math and all that no shit. no like or just try to get my degree or anything i was just okay. like i just want to take art classes so awesome. i took um i took uh beginning intermediate drawing beginning intermediate painting illustration life drawing i took a couple classes nice yeah uh, it was fun that sounds like fun too yeah. and look, look it all paid off right now you got all yeah. this beautiful stuff right here dude. thank you thank you i'm really loving the setup right now man got you all like these it? skulls yeah the old vintage cross and everything like that yep. that's so nice yeah. do you have like a, a reason for the skulls or is this because you just like looking at them i, I mean I've, I've always i've always liked them um and especially with uh, i'd say mexican culture mm -hmm. a big part of the imagery of, of uh our culture as yeah as with you know, Day of the Dead and um, Aztec stuff. There's always been skulls when you, when you think about it, you know, yeah. sugar skulls and stuff. And um, some people kind of relate to it as, you know, they think about death, but I kind of, I, I like them because I, I think of them, they represent life, you know? Yeah. Um, a, fully, a fully developed skull like that, it takes time for it to develop that size and mm -hmm. whatever. So you you got to live before you die, you know? I feel you. That's yeah. really good about that. I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm proud to, to tattoo here in the city of Long Beach mm -hmm. because uh, Long Beach has a, a very, very big history in the industry, in, in tattooing in general. Um, everybody knows that uh, Bert Grimm's Pike, the Pike, mm -hmm. you know, was basically one of the first tattoo shops ever yeah, that's ever opened. Nice. And Long Beach has a lot to do with um, with a lot of tattoo, you know, a lot of a lot of to do with the industry, I guess. So you, you know? feel like you're part of the history and everything like that? You're um, contributing into like not, the movement or something like that? No, but I, at least I get to do, I, I, I get to tattoo where it came from. Okay. You know, where not necessarily where tattooing came from, but as far as professional tattooing and and, and electric tattooing and stuff like that, I mean, it, it's here at Long Beach, you know. That's awesome. You, uh, you look up, go back maybe, you know, a hundred years or, or a little bit less than that. And uh, yeah, everyone would tell you, you know, Long Beach is probably, you want a bright and bold color and, and you know, all the traditional tattoos, it was always here in Long Beach. Uh, that's really good right mm -hmm. there. So I'm pretty proud of being from here and tattooing here. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, that's going to be it, you guys. Thank you so much. Be sure to hit up Josh. Josh where can they find you at? Uh, Long Beach Ink Assassins. We're right here off of PCH and the 710 Freeway. Come and check us out. What about your Instagram? You want to plug that? My shit? Instagram is uh, J Hernandez underscore 562. Um, I'm always constantly working on designs, posting up tattoos. So uh, go ahead and check me out. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks. I like that little thing you did right there.